All right, Steve. Action. Hello, all. This little part kept falling out of my walking tweaky. And I wanted to see if I could get it back in there. I took the screws in the back off. There's three of them. Two at the shoulders, one down there at the back side. This has never walked. It barely made any sounds. The minute that it fell apart, because I was just trying to pull it a little bit to see if I could get that piece right there back onto one of the sides of the legs, it started going. So I'm wondering if something was trapped or lodged or bent or something, but I'm going to give it a little bit of WD-40. I have a feeling that this could very easily become a accidental process. Accidentally breaking something, not quite getting it back together, not understanding how these work. It did not make a difference. The spring is wound or unwound, I don't know. Now I have WD-40 all over my hands. It seems to be the silver part here that is doing the slipping on that keyway looking piece. There's resistance, but it's not doing anything. It's trying. There it goes. It's doing better upside down. I can't tell what's slugging. Which part of you is slugging? Everything's sounding much better. I am still afraid of this, though. It is stronger, and it's making less, uh... Jack clack. Got a spring in his head. And that seems to go... Look, the Statue of Liberty. This part was in the neck. Like that. That already feels softer. Maybe it needed that. Ooh, it doesn't want to fit on there. Darn, I was hoping it would be a snug. I'm forgetting to show my audience what the heck it is I'm doing. There's a piece right there to reinforce that plastic that this is not allowed to pass. It has to be here. This spring was sitting diagonal against that gear. I'm going to try this again. I think you want that piece trapped so that little thing can't slide off there. I don't think it was like that before. Maybe somebody else had this apart before I got a hold of it. But no, don't walk now. What, you didn't want to walk before. Beedy, 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 but you oiled me. And I have that in the wrong spot. Good, good. I was afraid that I was going to get this done. No, it popped off again. I, see, this is what I hate. Oh, boy. Whoa. You don't get much post on this side over here. I wonder if that's a bad design and it's just going to keep doing this. This part will not stay in the back. The L bracket shape is too long. This will not stay in here because it bumps directly into that. I think I don't like this. Maybe this part goes on the side. Uh, maybe on that. Maybe that's supposed to be hugging that. Oh, you know what? That it does fit, but that doesn't explain why that part is like that. And that would keep this away from that side. So, let me try that. Still not quite done hating everything, though. Yeah, it's falling apart again. The metal, it's got holes to fit on these pegs in here. But there, the head's going. I put it on that one side with the windup, and now the head is turning this part that just keeps coming off. I'm going to put this piece in a very, very tiny plastic bag and I'm going to shove it up Tweaky's skirt, whether he likes it or not. That little bitty part is right there. Maybe I'll think of something later to get that piece to stay on there. And at least his wind-up features are working, but his walk will cause that leg to fall off because that piece is not snugging in. He's so old, he really ought to be displayed instead of played with BD, BD, BD. If you choose to take one apart. I hope this video helped and I hope you have better luck than I did.